Morning Show, presenting the Three Stooges. Now, among the... I wish I hadn't picked this up so early. I got a lot of words to say. <laughs> among the great comedy names of our time are three men who, for many years, convulsed the motion picture and vaudeville audiences of this country with their hilarious, knock em about style of comedy. It took the medium of television and the perceptive minds of today's youngsters to rediscover their greatness. So here from three record-breaking weeks at the Holiday House in Pittsburgh are, let's welcome them, the Three Stooges! <laughs> Take off for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you leave my friend alone. What do you want? Stop all this bickering. What's the matter? Don't you know we have to perform an operation in one minute? That's oh. right, that's right, yeah. Get the patient out here. Oh, bring in the patient, please. The patient, bring it. Hey, there's no patient. No patient? The patient didn't show up. No patient? What will the sponsor say? I don't know. We gotta have a patient. Yeah, we gotta have a patient. We gotta, I think we got a patient. <laughs> I'm sure we have a patient. Oh, now, wait a minute, please. Hey. How do you feel? Oh, I feel fine. I feel great. Yeah. You look terrible. Yeah, but I feel wonderful. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. How do you feel now? I got a headache down to here. <laughs> oh, nurse. Thank you. And now, as a public service, <laughs> NBC, in cooperation with the National Broadcasting Company, <laughs> And in competition with the Columbia Broadcasting Company, <laughs> presents a documentary program on the world of medicine, entitled, Would You Believe It? This Country Has a Cold. <laughs> By the end of this program, if our patient bears any resemblance to a living person, it will be completely accidental. <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> Oh, nurse! Adelaide! Oh, honey! Uh, come in, doctor. Come in, doctor. Where Please. are you, doctor? Where are you? Here. Here, nurse. Here. Where, where? Keep talking. I'll find you, doctor. Keep talking. Here. Oh, there you are, doctor. Don't touch me. I'm homogenized. <laughs> Now, nurse. What? I told you, you don't need those glasses. Are you kidding? Everything I, 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 I see is fuzzy if I don't wear my I glasses. I know, but it's all in your mind. Take off the glasses, I'll prove it to you. Mm -hmm. What? Nurse, what is that? A half a dollar. <laughs> Put back the glasses. Okay. Don't the glasses. All right, prepare the patient. Prepare the patient. Okay, young man. Open your mouth and say, ah. <laughs> ah. Hey, hey. Here. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm you. glad you're not taking out my tonsils. Oh. <laughs> Here, here. Yeah. What type of an operation would you like? What kind of an operation have you got? Nurse, what are the specials for today? Well, there's a menu, Doc. Mm. You can look at it. <laughs> uh, gallbladder, $60. Kidneys, $65. Liver, $70. With onions, a dollar. <laughs> I'll take the work. Oh, give him the works. I'll give him the works. Yes. On the ether, please. Oh, the ether, yes, yes. We must give him the ether. All right, lay right down. The tune hurt a bit. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Doctor, there's no ether. There's no ether left. That patient in 207, he drinks everything. <laughs> give him a spinal. Oh, a spinal. Oh, yeah. A spinal. A spinal. Come <laughs> on, a spinal. <laughs> you think that reached the spine? I think it right, went right on by, Doc. I'm not sure. Then prepare for surgery. Surgery, prepare for surgery. Scalpel! Scalpel, scalpel. There you are, Doc, right there. Thank you. And a kind of puna sign. And a kind of puna sign. And a kind of puna sign. Oh, yes, there you are, Doc. And a kind of puna sign. That's not a. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid! Stupid! Don't you call me stupid! 
That's not what you said at the dance last night. <laughs> well, last night I was stupid. <laughs> Tonight I'm stupid. <laughs> Who made that incision? What? That's the work of a butcher. This patient will not survive this surgery. Who did it? You did, doctor. Ah. So I did. Yes, you did. The work of a master. Yeah. <laughs> On a clear day, you could see Jersey City. <laughs> doctor, don't forget the commercial. Uh, the commercial? The oh, commercial? Yes, the com commercial. The commercial. And now, this portion of the show is sponsored by the Get Well... Soap Company, makers of the wonderful product Liquid Soap. 287 and a quarter percent pure. So pure is this soap that you can eat it. Now, a word from a satisfied user. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Lawrence Welk. Now. Doctor, yes? what, what have you decided to remove? I don't know, nurse. You see, everything looks so beautiful. Yes, I think I'll take potluck. All right. Just sit and try and see what happens. Yes. What? Oh. Oh. It's hard. Yes, yeah, the heart. Oh, heart of my heart, I love you. Life would be naught. Without you, oh, say you be mine. I have the thread and the needle. The thread and the needle. Oh, yes, the thread and the needle. There you are, Doctor. Please. There you are. Oh! <laughs> Wonderful. I'll turn a pin eye. Oh, oh, I'll turn a pin eye. One turn a pin eye. There you are, Doctor. Thank you very much. Yes, I'll turn a pin eye. Hold this. Hmm? I... Here, hold it. And it's on the pin eye. Hey there. Come on, baby. You know. Hey, wait for me, fellas. Right now, the Three Stooges are going to show you another phase of the motion picture industry, the duties of a Hollywood double. The stuntman or the double is the unsung hero of movies, you know. He's the fellow who does all the dangerous uh, scenes for the stars. But right now, here are the Three Stooges in A Day in the Life of a Hollywood Double. Here they are. All right, everybody on the set, J.B. wants to talk to you. Here he is, right now. Good morning, everybody. Oh, yeah. Now, the first thing, you sit down till I call you. <laughs> now, remember, folks, this is a Miracle Pictures AAA feature. They're getting behind this and putting every dollar they own into it. So we're going to finish it this morning, develop it this afternoon, and preview it tonight. <laughs> I want you to remember the slogan of Miracle Pictures. If it's a good picture, it must be a miracle. <laughs> All right, now, Tab. In this opening scene, you're discovered playing cards with Pedro the Mexican. Now, who's playing the part of Pedro the Mexican? I am, sir. Good casting. Now, in this card game with Pedro, you discover in the middle of the game that he's cheating. Do you remember the dialogue? Yes, sir. All right, places, everybody. My places. Roll them. Scene one. Three. Action. So that's how you win, eh? You cheat! You accuse me of cheating? Yes, I do. For this, I kill you. Hey, hold it. Double. <laughs> Save the life 
lights. Save the lights. <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Wait, please, please. That was a grand scene, Tab. Thank a you. scintillating piece. Scintillating. <laughs> now, in this next scene, you're wandering over the desert utterly alone. Oh. You haven't had water for days. You're dying of thirst. You remember the dialogue? Yes, sir. All right, then, places. Places. Roll them. Scene two. Speed. Action. Water. Pedro, please give me some water. See, si, see, si, you want some water, yes, huh? Yes, please. All right, I give you some water. All right, boys, give him the water. Cut. Hold it. Cut. Double. <laughs> Action! <laughs> Save the lights, please. Save the lights! One joke absolutely sensational. I've never seen anything. Please, please. That was a grand scene, grand. Fascinating piece of dramaturgy. Fascinating. <laughs> now, Tab, in this next scene. Pedro is throwing a party in your girl's honor. Oh. You walk right into the middle of this sequence. You remember the dialogue? Yes, sir. Right. Give me a grand scene now. I Places, will. everybody. Places. Roll them. Take three. Speed. Action. So, I catch you with my sweetheart, eh? Oh. Give it to me. Oh, you want me to give it to you, huh? Yes, you give it to me. Okay. I give it to you. Cut! Hold it! Stand it! What's wrong with you? Here we are shooting a technicolor picture. And you threw a lemon meringue pie. A yellow pie. Bring me a blueberry pie. What blueberry pie? Here we are, JP, right there. There it is, right there. Who's there? Not bad. Speed! Action! Cut! Save the light. Save the light! Absolutely sensate. Please. Who is that guy? Gran, you should get an Academy Award for that scene alone. Brilliant work, old Bean. Just brilliant. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> now, Tab, this next scene is the outstanding one in the picture. This is where you're buried alive. You think you're up to it? I, I can carry on, yes. I All can, right, yes. boy. Put your best effort into this. Place with everybody. Right, bring it in. Bring it in. Roll them. C2. Speed. Action. Thank you. All right, boys. Put this jacket on him. Cut. Hold it. Double. <laughs> Come on. All right. In the box. Come on. All right, hold it. Everybody take one hour for lunch. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. How about the double in the box? How do you like that? How thoughtless of me. Take an hour for lunch! <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, here they are, the Three Stooges. And now, and now NBC, in cooperation with the National Broadcasting Company, has spared no expense in bringing the next novelty to this network. 
With his mental agility, muscular control, and keenness of eye, this man is a sensation of two continents. Due to existing conditions, he was smuggled into this country by way of the Iranian pipeline. <laughs> he speaks very little of our language, and I was asked to act as his interpreter, which I will. I take great pleasure in presenting for your approval the Stav Indian refugee, the Maharaja of England's omen. The Rajah never on any occasion uses a helper, assistant, or confederate. But for this particular group of tricks, we'd like to have a perfect stranger. One who is not known. Here I what? am, here I am. Thank you very much, stranger. Yes, sir. And now this man has never seen us before. Have you? No, not since the last rehearsal. I... <laughs> you, you idiot. What does this Rajah do? We shall see. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Rod, Rod. Hello, Doe. Hello, Doe. President Salakadi says he asks you to ask you what did your patriot you do? I do nothing. Oh, boy. The Rajah says he is an expert pistol shot, marksman, and sharpshooter. That he has spent the better part of his life as chief pistol instructor in the Bulgarian junior FBI. His pistol record, none of them land shots, but of a possible 300. Oh, Yes, what will be his first trick? We shall see. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Raj. Oh, hello. Hello. The rain fire sees home. She tells you, ask you, please, if you will do it first trick, eh? Ah, that one is Yachty Benny Foot. Also, Rezina. That Rezina, you gonna hit it? That Rezina, I'm gonna smash it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> The Rajah says that at this time he will, without the aid of a telescope, shoot a raisin from the top of this gentleman's head. Hey, wait a minute. Shoot what raisin from which gentleman's head? Oh, pardon me for calling you a gentleman. Oh, you man. <laughs> the raisin, California style. What's that in your hair, son? That's a mole. That mole's walking. <laughs> That one is your Jimmy Foots, Master Edison. You know, can see it? I can no look at it. <laughs> the Rajah says that the lights in the auditorium are destroying his eyeballs, what's left of them. <laughs> Take the blue light off. Take the white light off. Take the Rajah off. <laughs> <laughs> By golly, he did it. Yeah, he shot them all and left the raisin there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What is... <laughs> what do you think the Rajah will do next? What do you think? We shall see. <laughs> Still in my mind, doesn't it? Maha! Ah! Handle it, handle it. Is that your eh? Ask it, ask it, you please do a trick. Alan no pay the check. Razvanya Jatsabeni Futch, also knife. That knife you're going to throw them? Them knives I'm going to chuck them. <laughs> oh, for how many mighty sakes? The <clears throat> Maha! Ah, uh -huh. down! <laughs> yeah, the Maha, you made it. The Rajah says that at this time he will toss the razor edged daggers at random. That's good. Get him up here. Hey, Randy. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't think I let that nearsighted owl toss knives at me, do you? What do you mean, nearsighted owl? He can see better than you can, and I can prove it. Well, you better prove it. Rajah! What is that? A half a dollar. <laughs> 
I'll go. I thought it was a dime. come within one-eighth of an inch of the victim's brain. <laughs> now, not that anything has ever happened before, but we'd like the young man at the board to take his bow now, in case. Good. Hello, Elf. Fellas, you didn't rehearse it that way. You gotta be careful. If you're not careful, somebody's gonna get hurt around here. Yeah. Ooh. 